okay. So, uh, we had a our first coup event with the new uh, progression. Actually, going back to the original progression. Now I know why. <laughs> Thank goodness for, what's his name here? Uh, Brick. <laughs> Cool. Um, so anyway, he showed me the way, and thank goodness for that, because like I say, I am immensely slow. Is I'm not uh, gifted in maths. Okay. Um, and so I need, you know, this is where this is like the purpose of this forum is to help each other. Okay. And it, very little of that actually goes on. Uh, um, but when it does. Uh, it's it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, you know, like what's happening in that dozen thread. You know, pales p pales uh, dozen thread. It's wonderful. You know, and uh, people are working on Renaud. Renaud's uh, you know special uh, street system is very awesome. They're working together on it. You know, it's awesome. It's exactly what we need. We find a system that we love. Okay, and then we start working on the weaknesses of that system together and we start talking about its strengths and we start working together you know uh and uh you know more what they say two heads are better than one and, and whatnot and in this case we can see exactly why because i can actually clear my head exactly on what's happening what what, what i've done here see now he pointed out that it's really better if we go with this the shorter progression and the inside delambert guy this is his original setup you know it's uh 500 units, 250 is a session, and 500 is a loss. And he stopped it there. He didn't go out into in Foreverland. He stopped it. Okay, so that's why, and I found out why. Um, you know, it's just the gains in percentages are no longer sufficient to justify the, the loss. The loss, in other words, the loss grows higher than the gains in percentage. Uh, you know, 24 to 101 is a ratio. 495 to 2455 is a ratio, and no longer are they're not one to one. Okay, this it suffers. Now, the, now here's the thing about this, and maybe Brick can help me out, or someone else can jump in here and do the work because I just don't feel like it right now. <laughs> but there is going to be what is called an optimal. There's going to be an optimal PLP on this, okay? Um, because every percentage which is, this is the expression of the effect of, a, of the progression length, okay? The progression length percentage, okay? Um, each progression is going to have a percentage associated with it, which will have a PLE. Uh, the PLE is a progression loss event chance expressed in number of coup events uh, per progression loss event, okay? And that's based on this percentage, because if you take 95%, and it's not 95, it's, I mean, the actual percentage is 95.75, okay? But if you take 95.75%, you actually have 4.25% um, uh, there, 4.25, okay? And you take that out of 100, and you're going to come out with uh, 24, which, in other words, 24 is, yeah, 24, so... Anyway, that's where we get this from, okay, and what, see now, there's, and then it comes out with this ratio, this ratio here, the ratio is expressed as um, number of hits required to recover the loss, okay, which is in this case three hits, because the average, you have to understand the average, work with the following average, the average with the progression is generally what we're looking at is 17.5 units, Okay, per uh, hit, the average win amount is 17.5 units. Now remember, if we go into recovery, we go into level 2, right? Level 2 is going to be double that. So we take 17.5, and you've got 35 units being the average win amount. So keep that in mind when you're focusing on the number of hits required to recover the loss. Okay, um, now is this right? Did I make a mistake in the math here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have. I have made a mistake in the math. Okay, but it's not three. It's, okay, so I'll fix it right here. We're actually going to fix it right on this video. Um, so it, it'll end up being 30, watch. But um, anyway, yeah, this, sometimes the calculator, it doesn't, it, like I hit a button and it doesn't 
register, and I end up getting weird math results. But anyway, what we do is we take uh, 495, okay, divided by, right, and then our average amount is 35, okay, equals, there it is, 14.14. So we'll, I'm going to call that 15, so because, you know, error on the side of whatever. Um, all right, so there we go. So 15 to 42, okay, now, that is a, a, an incredible increase, okay? 15 to 42, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, okay, because 15 to, uh, let's read you this. Okay, so what is this ratio then? 15 to 24, okay, so if you take, how many times does it take to, how many recoveries? So 24 uh, divided by 15 equals, 1.6. So, so again, we're still fixing this. Okay, uh, stupid calculator is what did that. Um, but anyway, uh, 1.6 versus 2.4. Uh oh. Um, uh, let me check this out here. Uh, let's go. 1.6 to 2.4. Because if you take, right, yeah, that's still an improvement. Okay, good, good, good. So we want the least number. Then this number needs to be as low as possible. The this number represents how many times we have to go to the well to recover. Okay, the lower this number is, the the better off we are. No, 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 that's not true. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's how many times. It, okay, what we thought it was was three hits to 24, which is a number, okay, eight. The larger that number, the better. See, and I'm now showing a larger number. This is 1.6, 15 to 24. Okay. So you see how slow I am in math. Okay, see how, see how slow I am. Okay, uh, let's, I have to go through this stuff. It's so difficult for me. Um, but anyway, let's do... Okay, 15 to 24, uh, which is 1.6, versus 42, uh, versus uh, 101, okay, and... Uh, So this would be 1.6 and 42 versus 101. So that's uh, okay. So 42 versus 101 is going to be 101 divided by 42 equals 2.4. And so that's in, so that in other words, this is this is a better ratio, okay? Yeah, this is a better ratio. Yeah, it costs more, okay? Um, but it is a better ratio because we have two point four well attempts before we have an expected. Uh, uh, before we have an expected um, progression loss event, the PLE, versus only 1.6 well attempts uh, using this. And so I was correct when I said that increasing the uh, win rate increases the uh, uh, efficiency. It increases the... Uh, the risk, it decreases the risk. Okay, increasing the win rate decreases the risk because there's less, there's gonna be less uh, variance allowed. So this is why I am doing what I'm doing. So what I need to do is um, fix this post <laughs> and go back to where I was. Um, I mean, I'd made a mistake um, and I was working through it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go back and do. 
Uh, I need to redo this post. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm just basically going to erase all of this. I mean, I'd love to do the recovery on it and everything. It's a lot of fun, and I like to see where it goes, but... Um, Okay, so I'm just going to type this in. This shows that um, uh, increasing the win rate is better um, decreases the risk because we are able to go to the well. <laughs> Uh, 2.4 times in before um, uh, a PLE is due in instead of one only uh, 1.6 times. See? Okay, and so this means I need to continue with uh, what I was doing. So I'm going to go back up. Um, Go back up. Uh, here, okay. And this is where we are, um, and so I'm going to continue to recover. Uh, we've already recovered quite a bit, so we've come up from 79.19. We're all the way up to 64, so that's like 1,500 units. So that's like really good, um, nice chunk. Uh, we are at. 385. Okay, that's great. We're doing great on this because uh, we have um, already four of these events, okay, and we're not even at 404. So this is way, way, way ahead. Uh, we have 17 coup events, all right. That means that leaves plenty before we hit 51. Our target is going to be 51 coups here, and uh, so we're doing great there. Um, and yeah, this is the spins versus hits is where we were at, and uh, Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, 87 times 37 equals 32.19 is plus uh, 29.31 minus. Okay, so we're 200. I um, can't see that, but 288 um, spins. Okay, uh, over expectation. That's not good. <laughs> it's definitely not good. Um, and this is why right now we're, this is the, we're in the middle of, of a uh, BSE. So this this is a black swan event that we're currently experiencing. And so we are virtually, we're betting virtually, we're not actually betting, we're just spinning through until this number gets in line, okay? Uh, once, okay, two, wait a minute, 288, uh, let's see here, divided by 171 equals, what? That's wrong. Oh, I didn't hit equal on that. Okay, so anyway, 280, 288 divided by 171 equals 1.68. Okay, well, actually, it's not so bad. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's rectified itself. It's not, I mean, obviously, we don't want to be 288 spins uh, above expectation, obviously. Okay, but it's not two times... The progression because the the progression is 171 times 2. Two times the progression is 342 spins, which 342 spins is here. And this remember this is right before the Black Swan event hit. Okay, we were 350 spins over expectation. Okay, that's the hits versus spins figure. Okay. This, this ratio here, this ratio here, okay? And so this is a forecast event. This is forecasting the black swan. We're, because we're, we're over double the progression length. That's, we can't do that. And look at this, 546. See, that was a sign. Hey, you got a black swan event coming, okay? 412, crazy. 339, very close to out of control. Um, 339, very close. To 342 very close okay this is uh, yeah here we're at least okay that's about where we are where we're at right now let's see where it goes
we're watching this and and uh, we want a full recovery and this is not yet even close to a full recovery so we're gonna keep following this and go from there okay so that's the updates um, you know sorry for the confusion and uh, thank goodness we're all working together I mean that's very important uh, so I wish you the best